why I have this many highlighters. So this is my desk area. I have my desk right here, two Alex 9 drawers, and then a mini shelf. This is the only part of my apartment that I haven't touched. Like I have not redone or organized anything over here. I've kind of just been piling stuff up. I just haven't needed to put any of this together yet. But because the school year is starting, I thought this would be a perfect time to put together this entire area. I'm gonna be cleaning this all off, reorganizing. I'm gonna organize the drawers in my Alex 9 drawers. I also got this shelf, as I said, specifically for art supplies. So yeah, I'm very excited. Perfect for back to school and finishing my apartment. So here is what my desk looks like right now. As I said, I just have a bunch of random stuff piled up. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is just clear off my desk, and then I'm gonna start figuring out what to put in the drawers. So first off, on my desk, I have a bunch of art pieces. A lot of these are in progress still. I also have a couple random ones, which are from high school. So I'm just gonna put these to the side. Since my couch is right here, I'm just gonna put stuff on it as I figure out what to do with it. This bag is filled with school supplies. That scared me, I thought that was a bug. I have a lot of paintbrushes. I just have to figure out where to put all this. This is palette paper, I use it to mix paint on. And this one still has a lot of room, so I'm gonna save this. All right, so I cleared off my whole desk. It looks a lot better. I have this huge art book on it, this little basket filled with chargers and my glasses. And then I have this bag, which is filled with school supplies. Like, so I got a ton of drawer organizers to try to organize all of my school supplies. So I have paintbrushes, pens, pencils, markers. This is more of my everyday stuff. I have highlighters, drawing pencils, just a ton. As you can see, just a lot going on. And my plan is I'm gonna organize this Alex 9 drawer to be filled with school supplies. I just want all of this to be really accessible so that I use everything. I know guys, I have a lot of school supplies. Honestly, just from all the years of high school and college, I accumulated so many school supplies. I take a lot of notes, I do a lot of homework, and I do a lot of art projects. I mean, I don't know why I have this many highlighters. That's like totally unnecessary, but everything else I use, I'm a big planner, I'm a big like schedule person, so I use all this stuff. It's a lot, and when I see it like in front of me right now, I'm like, okay, I definitely don't need to buy any more school supplies ever. So here's what it's looking like so far. I have these bins filled as well as some piles over here and I'm gonna start putting them in the drawers. So this drawer first is gonna be pencils and highlighters. So I have this huge bin of mechanical pencils. I'm gonna put that right there. This little bin which is filled with lead and erasers. And then I have regular pencils in the back. These are new highlighters. And then I have this whole bin of highlighters. I also just got these new highlighters, so I'm gonna put those there. So in this drawer, I have markers and colored pencils. I'm gonna keep these markers in there as well. These are so nice. I use these all the time for note taking and planning. So I organized them by cool tones and then I did warm tones. And then I have Sharpie pens in the middle. Next, I have my pen drawer. So I have this bin, which is filled with colored pens. And then this container is all black pens. And then I have these, which are smaller tips. I'm gonna put those in the middle. And then I have these charcoal pencils. So I'm gonna put them in the pencils drawer. All right, so these drawing pencils and then the paint brushes are gonna go on the art shelf right here. I'm gonna organize this entire thing last. And then with this last bin, I'm gonna put my everyday supplies on here so I can just keep it on my desk. I feel like that'll be super convenient. So I'm gonna take out a couple pens. 
I feel like that'll just be easier when I need to write something real quick. All right, I'm gonna wipe down the top of my desk. So on my desk right now, I have this book. My dad gave this to me. It's a ton of artwork. It's really cool. I love looking through it. And it's awesome because since I've taken so many art history classes, I actually know a lot about each of these pieces. So I think I'm gonna keep this on my desk. And then I have this bin. I filled it with some of my like everyday supplies. It's cute because it's all like pink and green. I have this basket. I put these all over my apartment. They are so cute. This one's green. It has my glasses, a camera charger, and then iPhone cubes, I don't know. This is really nice, I really like this space and I love this chair. If you guys watched all my moving out videos, you saw me get this chair and this desk and all this stuff, so it's cool to like finally be using it and putting it together. I also have my Beats headphones that I've been using and I have the case. I feel like when I have stuff out, like in reach, I use it a lot more. So that's what I'm trying to do as I'm like putting together my desk, is like actually think about the stuff I want to use so that I use it, you know what I mean? The other really nice part about this area is I have this window and it's so perfect. So there's so much nice lighting here. Up here I have crystals, incense, candles. And then on this one I have candles, random stuff, posters up. So in this Alex 9 drawer, you saw me put the school supplies, but then I'll show you guys what I put in this one. The first couple drawers are jewelry. I'm trying to organize it nicer. I have my rings, necklaces, I have phone cases back here more jewelry, and more. And then this drawer is filled with hair stuff, and I'm not gonna show you guys in the rest of the drawers because they're a mess and just filled with random stuff. I also added this candle to my desk, and it's looking cute. Alright guys, so next I'm going to be working on clearing off this shelf. So I got this shelf from Ikea. It's a mini one of my big bookshelf that I have. I got it specifically so I could put all my art supplies on it. I'm going to organize it, make it nice. Again, I have these drawer organizers. These are just the best for art supplies. So I think what I'm going to do is clear this shelf off. So in this bin, I have acrylic paint. So I'm gonna start organizing this bin. All right, so that looks good. I have acrylic paints all here. This is acrylic medium. This looks good. And then I have these paint brushes. This is the container I've been using for paint brushes and it's not big enough for these, which is very unfortunate. So I'm probably just gonna have these like right here. Here are more that don't fit, so I'm gonna put them right here. And then this bin is filled with my oil paint, so I'm gonna put this over here. Wow, that fits perfectly. This bin lastly, and this has more stuff for the oil paint. Look how nice, like this is so organized. It looks so good. I'm gonna add this palette knife. So this top shelf looks really good. Everything looks really nice. For the rest of my paints, I put them in this drawer. In my Alex 9 drawer, I have this big one. And I have two bins, one's filled with watercolor. These are all watercolor tubes. And then I have this, which is paint pens. I thought that was a good way to organize it. And then this is all just acrylic paint that I've had forever. I have a watercolor palette in the back. This bowl I use for water, mini palettes. For this second shelf, I have this watercolor pad. And then I'm gonna put my palette paper on here as well. And then these are the pieces I'm still working on, so I'm just gonna put these here as well. I feel like if they're right here and I see it, then maybe I'll work on them more. I'm just so bad at finishing stuff. This container is filled with drawing pencils. This is a towel I use for oil paint. I got this basket to match the ones on my other shelf, and I don't know what to put in it. I know I'm gonna fill it up eventually, so right now it's just empty. And then I have an extra container too, so I'm just gonna put that in there. I have a couple new school supplies, so I can put that in here, because why not? Down below on the bottom, I have these canvases that are just blank. Here are some of my old pieces. I'm just gonna put those there too. I have to put these in storage, but I'll do that later. And then I have this canvas that I just started. I'm in the process of this one, so I'm gonna put it under here also. And then I have this little plate that I thrifted that has decorations, stickers, and little drawings. So I just put that right there because I don't know where else to put it. So that is what the finished shelf looks like. I think it looks so good. Definitely a good use of space. It fits perfectly on this wall. So it's 
it's gonna be easy to just come up here, grab my paints, grab what I need, and then go over to my desk or my kitchen table to work on my stuff. Lastly, I added my laptop to the top of my desk because I know I'm gonna use that a lot there. And I think we're pretty much done. Everything came out so cute. I love how organized it is now. It's nice because this was kind of the last section of my apartment that I had to redo and now my apartment is done. It's put together and it's so exciting. It came out so cute. I love this area. I think this is going to be one of my most used areas of my apartment. Like I'm going to sit at this desk all the time. I'm going to use everything on this art shelf. All right guys, so my desk is pretty much done. It looks so much better than when we started. It's a crazy improvement. I'm really excited because now I'm going to start using my desk like probably before school starts. I can edit my videos here. I think my Alex Nine drawers it came out really good. They're super organized, especially that one that has all of my school supplies. That's going to be great. And my art shelf. Like, oh my god, it looks so good. I also love this chair. Also follow my Instagram and my other social medias. I've been posting a lot on Instagram and TikTok. I love you guys so much. Thank you for staying until the end. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys soon in my next video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye! Mwah.